Hi everyone, my name is Kayleen. I'm back to share with you another scrap yarn crochet project. I'm going to show you how to crochet this dandelion inspired flower bookmark. It is very quick and easy to make and you can also easily adjust the length of this bookmark to your liking. What I love about this project is that you can turn the smallest bit of scrap yarn into a dainty looking bookmark for your favorite books. I used only 3 grams of size 3 DK cotton yarn with a 3 millimeter hook. You will also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. And you can also use a stitch marker if you want, so this is optional. Once you have everything, let's get started. You will start off with a slip knot. Then chain three. Now you will join with a slip stitch into the first chain to form a tiny ring. Now chain two. And you can go ahead and use your stitch marker to mark the top of that chain if you want. Now you will be working into the center of this ring. So you will be holding this yarn tail down against your ring and do a double crochet into the center of the ring over the yarn tail. Now chain three. Next, you will insert your hook into the loop right under your chain and the other loop right next to it. Yarn over and do a slip stitch. And that is a peacoat stitch. Now do the same thing again. Double crochet into the center of the ring over the yarn tail. Chain three. And peacoat. And again, double crochet into the center of the ring. Chain three. And pico. So you will do this 12 times. I've already done three, so I will do nine more of these.
So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 double crochets with a chain 3 picot stitch on top of each. Now I will join with a slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain of 2. Then you can give this yarn tail a pull to tighten up the circle. Now I am done with one end of the bookmark. Now to get to the other side, I will begin making 52 chains from here. You can chain more or less depending on how long you want your bookmark to be, but for me 52 is a good length for up to A5 sized books. You will also want to make sure you make your chain a little longer than the actual size of your book. I would add about 3 to 5 extra chains from the actual length. So go ahead and pause the video and make a chain until you have your desired length. I'm back with 52 chains from my first flower. Let's begin making the second flower. To begin, you skip the first two chains from your hook and into the third chain from your hook, you will do a slip stitch. This forms another ring to work into. Now chain two. And again, you can use your stitch marker to mark the top of that chain if you want. Next, you will rotate your work the other way around so that your other flower is now at the right. And you will repeat what you did before. You will put a double crochet into the center of this ring. Chain 3 and Peacoat. And again. Chain 3 and Peacoat. So you will slowly rotate your work this way as you go and you will repeat this until you have 12 double crochets with chain 3 picot stitch on top of each. I've made 12 double crochets with a chain 3 picot stitch on top of each and I've moved my other flower back to the left. Now all I have to do is to join with a slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain of 2. And now we are done with both flowers. Next, you will find the third chain from the base of your flower. So, one, two, three. Then you will insert your hook into the bottom loop of that chain and you will do a slip stitch. Next, you will continue to do a slip stitch into every single chain until you reach the other flower. I've made a slip stitch into every chain all the way to the base of my first flower. Now, I'm going to cut the working end of my yarn about 7 centimeters away from my hook. And I'm going to use my yarn needle to weave in the remaining ends.
and go ahead and cut off the remaining ends. Thank you for crocheting along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider supporting me by hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. This will be a huge source of motivation for me to continue sharing more projects with you every week. I'm hoping that we can continue to crochet together again every week.